Oh, and they're immediately in an argument. Oh, and they're fighting. Okay. <laughs> Praise Jesus! Welcome back to another episode. We're here with the planks again. Immediately upon coming in, she is getting all jealous and has just developed fear of being cheated on. Oh, and um, so they're just immediately fighting. Their relationship's a little bit on the rocks, I think. Now, the first thing I want to do today while they're arguing is that Seek here has his handiness to level 3 right now. So I think he's going to be wanting to do some renovations to this bathroom that they are living in. So he's done some renovations, he's decorated a little bit, he got rid of one of the sinks so he can use this as a cooking counter now, and he brought the refrigerator that was out back here. Inside, refrigerator is broken so he's actually gotta fix it. But also, he's rolled the want to start a new career. So he's getting tired of working over here at the gas station. That's not really the level of job that he wants, he's family oriented materialistic and ambitious. Every part of him wants to have a much more sustainable job. Oh, Sam's over here still just fishing. This is one of his favorite things to do. He just likes to be outside. Oh, Stevie's coming in to check on him. I'm gonna have him go ahead and talk to Stevie about uh, his plans. Kimberly's taking a nap. She's uh, still really upset after being yelled at, I think, Stevie. I don't know what Stevie's thinking. They just have food sitting on top of the toilet. That is not appetizing, y'all. Oh, the lottery winner. Elizabeth Hatz has won the lottery. Oh, so Bernice did not win the lottery. Here, you you wake up. I want you guys to have another argument. It's just like, what are you even asking about? He's like, we both know that we were forced to be engaged practically, so what's even the point of trying with this marriage? And he's like, well, I still kind of want to try. Don't you want to try? And she's just like, ugh, whatever. They are both are discovering they want a little more in life. Oh, and Susie Buttons is here. What's she doing here? Oh, and she's angry now. Oh, they both lost to that argument. Oh, and she's not happy about it. How dare you come into our house? We are busy having an argument and you just waltz right in. Here, you stop fishing, Sam, because you're hungry. You feed yourself somehow. Come grab some of the toilet food. Oh, and now Su Susie's out here knocking their trash cans down. Be oh, and she immediately picks it back up. She must have felt bad about that. She's just losing her head a little bit. She's just upset that her daughter's not in the house anymore. It was good for her, but now she, she's upset about it. Oh, and she's gone from being angry to just uncomfortable now. She just doesn't like the way that her life is being, really. It's just she feels so trapped in her life with her husband. If you're both sleepy, just go to bed. Sam is trying his best to eat something, but I don't know what you're doing. He's just waltzing in here. I'm gonna take some of this. Maybe he'll make a friendly chat for the sake of their friend buddy. I think he wants to try to have some sort of conversation conversation. Hey, they're both feeling very fine and mutual right now. Oh, they seem to be a little friendly, maybe. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, and they're immediately in an argument. Oh, and they're fighting. Okay. Oh, they now despise each other. The more they talk, the more they 
just hate each other. I want to roll to see if that if one of them might apologize to each other. I'm not gonna show it, but I am gonna roll a d20. They gotta get at least a 15. They both want to be somewhat civil because of their mutual friend who died in the war, but we'll see what happens. Oh, Sam got rolled a two. <laughs> He's definitely not going to stoop to po apologizing. And Zeke gets a nine, which is very, very fitting, I feel. Neither of them are anywhere close to apologizing to each other. So let's quit with the talking and see if he can find a job. Oh, and there's Susie. <laughs> Okay, so I made some rules for him. He can become a doctor or a medical intern. So he can start on the path of a doctor or he could be an astronaut intern. He could be an intern at the astronaut thing or he could be a live chat support agent. Personally, I'm kind of leading toward letting him be an intern at a doctor's office. Doesn't really have a degree, but maybe there's this veteran friend system where they let veterans come in and they kind of teach them things and make it possible for them to kind of have a career. He is now a medical intern at the Mustard Clinic. Zeke has a new job now. He's talked with his friend. He's quit this job. And I'm going to have him actually go across the street and let tell his friend, let her know about it. Oh, there's Antonio. He's going to say hi to him. And he, Antonio's not overly impressed, <laughs> but they're having a nice little chat. Oh, and there she is. He's going to do about interest. He's going to tell her about his, his new job. Still not a super well-paying job, but it's better than what uh, he had at the gas station. She still does not look very impressed. <laughs> and she walks away. Look at her actually paying attention to the kids. Going to come out here and join her. Now he's just out here with the kids by himself. <laughs> what is your obsession with Catherine's toilet? Prince. Seriously, he's out here reading her a, toddler, a little kid book. He's trying real hard. This family's just so hard to impress. Let's see if he can actually assist uh, Antonio with his project some. <laughs> Buddy is congratulating him on his job. He's like, I think I could help Antonio with this project. I'm no handiness. I fixed that fridge. Oh, when it's 8 p.m. right now. <laughs> so I'm actually just gonna leave him here and switch back to the other guys. So we're back here. Uh, Sam's making some dinner. Stevie knows his wife is upset, so he's gonna do something for her that he knows always cheers her up. How about we go on a trip to the city since you're feeling so trapped in life? I'm just gonna take us both out because I know that you enjoy having nights out at the city. Is this the only people he knows? Goodness, I need some caffeine. All right, we're here. So he's brought her to the karaoke bar. It's karaoke contest night. You see, we're out here. Sabrina's in here already trying to get her karaoke. Francesca McCoffee is here. They're chatting with her. She's angry for some reason. She's feeling very happy right now. I'm gonna have her come sing in the karaoke contest. Here she comes. He's gonna come watch. She's having a very fun, good time. Oh, and he's come to watch. Are you laughing at her? Oh, Sabrina's watching too. Oh, she scored 25 out of 100 points. Very nice. Here, you come order some food because you're really hungry. Just grab some chips. Oh, and she's sitting in here chatting with Bonnie. And she's feeling energized from her karaoke. Oh, and look how many friends she's making. Oh, there's the mayor. The mayor's singing karaoke. Oh. Oh, he won! <laughs> Mig Mig the mayor won the karaoke night. I can't believe that he just won. I can't believe he just won the karaoke. Stevie's trying his hand at it too. He's doing his best. She's still in here making friends. Here, come watch him. At least she came in here and oh no, she immediately is leaving. <laughs> You try to talk to her some. Heartfelt compliment. Well, compliment. She's like, okay. Oh, and he's flirting with her, and she's liking it. Oh, oh, she's flirting back too. They're having a good time. Oh, 
There they go. Now Stevie is feeling very tired. So I think it's time that we go home. And she's like, no, you just, you do not get this, do you? You don't get this. I don't want to go home. I like being out here in the city. I don't like our little entrapment that we are entrapped in and he's like well what do you want us to do our parents both gave us the gas station and they gave us the thing are we just gonna not honor that and he's like i can't stand to live like that anymore i am a city girl and i like living in the city so you can go home if you want i am staying here oh so he's leaving he's going he wants to go home he's heading home with his head low and she's staying out here. It's 4 a.m. now, but she has to go to the bathroom right now. Oh, she's pregnant. Oh my goodness, it's 5 a.m. Her husband just left her alone in the city. She's pregnant. The mayor is still singing karaoke. And now she's gonna go sing some karaoke too. Oh goodness. Well, that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it was fun to watch. Jesus loves you. Goodbye.